morning folks, James here, and I'm just out in my backyard just enjoying the morning sun and some fresh coffee on my Boba Fett mug, and when I have this mug out, there's some serious business about. So, what we're going to discuss today is the Outdoors Arena review ring. Now recently, recently Leo from Irish Zombie Nation approached me to, if I wanted to help out making a review ring similar to the Gauntlet by Prepared Mind 101, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the Gauntlet. So we're just passing around gear, knives, or whatever the case may be, and we each one of us is going to review it, test it out. We're going to talk about the pros, the cons, you know, would we recommend it or not. And, you know, just it gets passed around, so you guys get a, a good balanced, you know, uh, opinions on, on the equipment. So this review ring consists of Irish Zomination, Bear Heart Outdoors, Motorcycle Prepper, Woodsman Surth Rival, and myself, as of right now. And uh, for this video... I'm going to go ahead and begin my review on the Victorinox Trekker, and then I'm going to pass it on afterwards. So, this knife, in my opinion, is the best EDC tool to have, at least for my lifestyle. Now, everyone has a different lifestyle, different hobbies, and, and you know, what you do for a living. For the, what I mean for the Victorinox Trekker to be the best tool is someone like me, who is a working Joe, 9 to 5 working Joe, who lives in a city. You know, I don't live out in the wilderness of Alaska or anything. I live in the middle of my city, but I do enjoy the outdoors. So a lot of times, you know, I'm using this at work, and then right after work, I'm out fishing, I'm out hiking, camping, practicing bushcraft skills. So this comes, you know, it's a very well-rounded tool. It, it just has a good variety of tools. So let's go ahead and discuss the tools. So it comes with the stainless steel, just the classic Victorinox spear point flat ground blade. It's liner to lock, so it is a locking blade. It has a can opener with a small flathead screwdriver. It has a saw, which is non-locking, but it is a great little saw for, you know, say you're building shelter or, you know, making notches in the outdoors or just, you know, using it for yard work at your house. It has a small Phillips screwdriver here. I use this quite often. And a hole puncher or an awl, so cutting holes in either rat traps or through leather. And then I have a locking bottle opener with the wire stripper and a large flathead screwdriver that doubles as a cap lifter. Now there is one modification I've made to this knife, and that's I did use a flat a file right here, and that's to strike a ferro rod because it's locking. It just I just you know it just comes in handy for that. Um, once again. I made that modification if these guys want to use that or you know just disregard that whatsoever that's up to them I'll leave that up to them and then I have a tweezers for thorns stickers anything like that grooming and a plastic toothpick so I don't have much experience with this particular model right here but I have been carrying this for almost three years and that is the Victorinox one-handed tracker. So it's all the same exact tools, but the the blade is one-handed opening and it's serrated. Now this is mine. I'm going to keep this. Um, this is the one that I'm going to be sending out. And it's just a little bit more classic. So I'm just going to take you guys uh, just through my day, you know, from home to work to the outdoors. And we're just going to test out as much tools as we can. Let's get started. So in my yard, this stump, you guys have seen it in several videos. I practice a lot of fire making, you can see the scorch marks, a lot of uh, one stick fires and such. So I'm constantly down here a lot, but this branch, as you can tell, just gets in my way. So, just a little impromptu yard work here. Now I don't use the saw as much as other guys would because I live in the desert, so I don't use it as much, but as you can tell, just a couple seconds and it just makes things a little easier. One of my cooking lids, the handle has become quite loose. Now that's just a Phillips screw right there, so a perfect chance to use the Phillips screwdriver on this guy, and it works pretty good. So, just about two seconds, three seconds, and it tightens it right up. So, just a perfect example of just everyday uses at the house for a Swiss Army knife. Okay, so now I'm heading off to work. Now, I, I'm somewhat of a handyman, it's a side job, just uh, not my main job, but it, it just supplements my income a little bit. 
So I'm heading off to just change a couple lights, open a couple boxes, and this snipe is used all the time, every time I go and do that. So we'll be there shortly and I'll keep testing out the knife. Works well for cutting boxes. The cap lifter work works well when I'm changing lights. So I'm already done with my chores, and now me and a buddy, of my, uh, we're heading out to New Mexico. We're gonna go ahead and find a lake, and we're gonna go ahead and fish. Hopefully we can catch ourselves some trout, and if we do catch some trout, I'm gonna use the knife to go ahead and process them. So we'll see how it does out here, performing out in the woods. Okay guys, so we got ourselves a small rainbow trout. Handsome little guy, look at those colors. And though, although it's not very large, it will definitely be some good eating. Trout is delicious. Now, I need to remove the slime from the, you know, that all fish have, and I'm gonna use the, the back of this saw. Now, this saw is non-locking. That is something I do not prefer on this knife. I don't particularly like that, but just uh, I could just be cautious and I'll, I'll be just fine. So, I'm gonna descale this fish, and I'm gonna just remove the slime, and I like to use the back because of it had the flat 90 degree spine. Obviously, if you have a 90 degree spine on your knife, this this will do just fine, but you know, since we're testing out this guy, it's a good, good way to test it out. And you can see right there, all that. Now the moment of truth. Let's go ahead and try this blade out. Now I've used this blade before, so I know it's gonna perform well. It's a flat grind knife, and it's a good stainless steel. We don't know exactly what kind of steel, that's something that they keep secret. Victorinix keeps uh, to themselves, but it's a great steel, very corrosion resistant. So I don't got to worry too much about, you know, it touching guts and blood and, and, you know, the slime. So it'll be good. It'll perform fine. So let's get started. I'm just going to find the vent of the animal and just cut and look how smooth that rides. And what's great about this knife is it's also very, uh, a very spear point, kind of like a Kephart. This flat hump right here, kind of it really helps me out to not pierce any guts of the animal. So it's sharp on one side, but the other side is nice and round. Now, this part I've not really done before, but I've seen guys do it, so I think it's time for me to try it out. But you're just going to cut beneath. It's a little tricky because this guy's small, but make a cut here on the chin, on the jaw, bring it out the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna stop out and get the gills and all these guts out. It can skin small game. So that performed good. So let's get this guy cooking. Let's enjoy our lunch. So, got a small tinder bundle. And this is what I said earlier at the beginning of the video, that I do have a small modification to my knife. This is the modification. I flattened this out with the file, 90 degree spine, so it can strike a bear rod. Now a lot of people are gonna say, you know, oh, well, I could use the back of the saw, but once again, the saw's not locking. And I've done this before, and it has closed on me, it has cut me, it has cut a buddy of mine. So. This bottle opener is locking, so I don't got to worry about it, you know, I me mean, having a mishap out in the woods and now I need, you know, some stitches or anything. So, let's get this, let's see how well that performs. Sorry about that, that was me. Not aiming correctly. Now, 
So, meanwhile we do this, let this get hot, let's go ahead and test out the can opener. Now this is a can of uh, green beans, so it can complement our trout. Now most Swiss Army knives, not all of them, but most of them have a can opener and a lot of people love them. Now I will admit, I don't have too much experience with this can opener because I'm just so used to using my P38 on my keychain. And it's just a little bit different, they function differently. But, I know that for a fact that this works and many people love this can opener. So, let's get ourselves a, a good complimentary side dish for our trout. And just forward motion. Like I said, I don't make I don't do this as fast because I'm not used to this particular can opener, but it looks like I'm getting that can open pretty quick. There we go. So let's get this here, get it nice and hot, and let's just place our fish now. I'll place it over here on the side. So this trout's just about ready, nice and crispy. Trout in the morning. And green beans to complement it. I did forget a spoon, so that's how I'm gonna be eating my green beans. I don't mind. Anyways, going back to the subject of the Victorinox. Now you saw me at home, you saw me doing some work chores and then you saw me out in the outdoors, I try to show as much tools as I use on a daily basis, whether you're just at home doing chores or you're out here performing some bushcraft stuff for a couple days, this works fine. And now I'm gonna send it out to another guy from the outdoors arena. Go ahead and check those other guys out. I'll put the links in the description box below. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, try out one more tool and that's the bottle opener. So I'm having a good day. Cheers guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, go ahead and give me a like. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you wanna uh, just stay on top of uh, my adventures, my videos. And um, go ahead and check out the outdoor arena guys. I think we're off to a good start. And cheers, go out and get your boots dirty.